let's get you back to that developing story we uh, told you about at the beginning of our newscast. The demolition of a former business, which was the site of a massive fire last night, which had happened uh, another time mm -hmm. previously, uh, they're now demolishing it. Right, it's taking place right now. Andrew Colgrove joins us once again on the scene. And Andrew, yep, uh, it's finally coming down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tim, crews got here around 4 o'clock and have been setting up, and just a moment ago, they started actually tearing this building down. I'll step away so you can see the work as it's going on. In fact, the A&A transmission service sign here that was at the top of the building was one of the first things that came tumbling down here. This building, the site of that massive fire last night, also the scene of a massive fire six years ago. This used to be a business and has been sitting vacant. The fire chief saying that this already was on the list to, to be uh, torn down. Uh, one of the many buildings in the city that was on the list to be torn down. But after last night's after last night's fire, this got fast tracked, and they immediately decided they were going to come here and start doing this. I talked to a man who owns a business right across the street. They sell uh, automotive. Uh, items and he was he literally had tears in his eyes he was saying that this is like an early Christmas present for him he says all the negative things that happen here uh, the drug use just uh, the vagrants that come the, the negative aspects here he says that uh, he's talked to people who don't want to come to his business just because they don't feel particularly safe in this area so he says to finally be witnessing this moment is something he's been waiting a long time for and his emotions we're going to hear from him later tonight clearly a very moving uh, moment for him and others in this area that have been hoping to see this building here torn down we're also going to hear later tonight from man from a man who works at a recovery center just a couple buildings over from this he is also talking about how happy they are to see this building come down. So Tim and Susan will have much more on this and what this means to the community later on tonight. But for now, back to you. All right. Hey, thanks, Andrew. The chief says they're still trying to figure out how last night's fire started, but the fact that there's no electricity, no utilities in the building, they figured that somebody was in there possibly trying to keep warm, and that's how the fire once again started.